Guten Tag, Sylvia. Hi, Mikkel. We will set up CYM to run for the Danube Basin, but this time at five arc minutes, so 10 kilometer by 10 kilometer. Let's go to the five arc minute data set. For mm -hmm. us, it's in our EASA internal folder structure, and for everyone else, the link to the CYM five arc minute input data set will be linked below. So before we were doing 50 kilometer by 50 kilometer, now we're doing 10 kilometer by 10 kilometer. So it's five times, or in another way, 25 times higher resolution than what we were practicing with before. Mm -hmm. There's a few more things in this folder than will be available on the one that one downloads, but it's just a cleaned up version of this folder. Let's go into right here, we see the settings underscore CYM underscore template, five minute. And let's just copy this and bring a version of that onto your local drive. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should I open it? Yes. Right, there are just a few things that we are going to edit. Scroll down. Great, so this path route is going to point to this downloaded CYM input five minute folder. So everyone else will have to edit this path route to point to where they've downloaded this folder. For us, it's already set up. The path out will be where the outputs from this run are, are put. We have to create a folder and then point path root or path out to that folder. Okay. I think I have exactly the folder that we need. <laughs> it's like a cooking show where things are prepared beforehand. <laughs> and All the ingredients already your... cut it. Yeah. 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 The, yeah the carrots are already cut, already chopped up. Okay. Okay. The path matio will also have to be updated for everyone else. For us, it's already in the right place, but this points to the climate data we've been using previously with the 30 argument version. The climate data stays the same. And we see this new line here, this Excel settings file. But we'll come to that in, the, in another video. Okay, so we updated path out, path maps, path matio. Perfect. Now we simply have to update the location of mm -hmm. the outlet of the Danube Basin in mask map and in gauges. Here and here. Okay, let's find the location of the Danube. We're going to go to a Google Earth engine map. I've linked it in our chat, Sylvia, and for everyone else, mm -hmm. it will be available in the video description. Yeah. Maybe, can you also minimize the console? Yeah, just to show how it's done. Perfect. More room for the map to come up. So again, this is uh, an accumulation map. The darker blue lines represent areas with more upstream river. You've already found the Danube Basin, so we're looking for the outlet of the Danube yeah. Basin. The Delta we are in search yeah, good. of this, but it's a bit chaotic keeping the two layers, so... I'm going to show only the five minutes one. Great. Okay. Around here will be fine, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So... Inspector. Remember inspector. Click on the map. And here we have our... Oh, the longitude latitude. Perfect. Perfect, you're pasting it to mask map, removing the comma, so many steps ahead, and pasting it as well into gauges. Awesome. And we are set. We right? are set. Okay.
Now let's run C1M from the folder containing the settings file that we've just edited. Okay, so here, first we need to activate our environment. Work on. Which in my case is, yeah, work on and the name of the environment, which in my case is Sylvia. Okay. Then we need to activate Python, put the folder uh, where See what I missed. Perfect. Which is this folder? I guess it's going to be within GitHub. Yeah, in GitHub. I think you have two GitHub folders. We look in here. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah. This one. Mm-hmm. Then slash uh, run underscore c what m or small point pi. Perfect. The settings file, which we push tab to complete the name. Exactly. And minus L to have the, um, the information on the running, right? Yeah, the daily output shown on the terminal the daily while output. it's running. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Thank awesome, you. Sylvia. <laughs> well, we didn't look at the dates. I guess we'll be surprised here to see what comes up. Maybe we can, while this is oh, running. Oh, yeah. We didn't look at the dates. But I think it's set up for a shorter run anyway. Yeah, I think it should be... Can you let us know what months, the, the date months. is? So yeah. what, is, what does this all mean? So this means that it starts running from uh, uh, June 2012 with one month of spin up, which means that um, it's the time that the uh, model uses to um, to prepare like Basically but it's not model. yeah just not create yeah. outputs yeah it doesn't create outputs and then it runs for it creates results for two months so from uh, july to september the first of june the first work. of july to the first of september perfect yeah to the first of september okay great yeah so that's a short enough run these uh notices that are coming up mm-hmm we are running from 2012. One of the inputs is the industrial and domestic water withdrawal or water demand. It is saying here that it looks here that the demand from industrial domestic is from 1961 to 2010, given annually or monthly. Since the data stops at 2010, it is saying that for 2012, we will just assume the demands from the last year of that data set, so from 2010. Mm -hmm. Tom is domestic and in this industry. Yes. While we're waiting for this, we can open up already the water surface notebook. Yes. It's in toolkit, so inside the see what I'm folder in toolkit. Uh not Books, I think, yes. Then we C can open. Yeah, great. And again, set the working environment. And then to open the notebook, which we use in this case, is Jupyter Notebook. It's just um, typing the name. J U P Y T E R space N-O-T-E-B-O-K. 
Mm-hmm. Enter and then here it is. Water cycles. Water cycles. Yes. Okay. Let's see if it is finished. Yes. Good. Perfect. Okay. So we need to update the output folder to be able to um, visualize the output from this running, which I think in this case is already, we already the correct it. one. Yes, right. we already did. So we can just uh, run it. Okay, then I press the double um, arrows Perfect. for running, restart and run all cells. And then you should display the amazing water cycles, which were recently published in a yes. paper, right? Yes, I'll also link that below. Mm -hmm. Can we zoom into the size of a cell? Uh, yeah, maybe first I'll show that <clears throat> this is the, the new basin. The macro transpiration for the two months over the Daniel mm -hmm. basin. And then, yes, if we zoom in, we see all the different cells as yeah. bots. All of these cells are 10 kilometer by 10 kilometer or five arc minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone has its own information and data. Okay, so this is for the evapotranspiration, this is for the discharge. And then the most interesting part, the water cycles. Okay, so the the model ran um, at five arc minutes. Mm -hmm. And now we'll set up crops into the model. But we'll do that in just a moment. See you later. Yes, see you later.